Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. I am Tanner, and if you are unfamiliar with the channel, I post different magnet fishing videos and outdoor videos all over the state of Michigan. So if you have not, head over to my previous videos and check content that I have posted in the past. It is some good stuff. If you like it, go ahead and consider subscribing and turning those alerts on so you can be notified for future content. If you see up behind me in here, there are some geese and they're starting to fly south for the winter. Fall is hit and it's 42 degrees this morning here on the Saginaw Bay area. It is a lot colder than it was this past week when I was fishing out here. So I went ahead and I started. Let me go ahead and show you guys my first throw. Now there is water pretty far up on this here little area if you're looking. It comes all the way up to the edge where the railing is at. And I'm pretty sure I just already got my magnet stuck. It's moving a little bit. It is on there good. I am gonna put my gloves on so I don't screw my hands up. The insides ripping when I was throwing a lot up on the finger seam here so I'm gonna wear it backwards on one hand to see if the rubber on the orange parts are enough to protect the glove from ripping through but that's only if I can get this magnet unstuck I wish it wasn't so close to the water Ugh, I got it no I did not started to get it so when I pull this magnet in I'm gonna have to be really careful that metal down there is no joke I don't even know if I really want to throw here but behind where the camera's at there's another little flat area that I'm thinking about going and fishing this might not be worth my time right here <laughs> we'll give it one more shot now that I know I can get the magnet back Scary stuff, guys. I have almost lost a magnet now in two episodes in a row. Man. Whew, here we go. I was talking a little bit in my last video about my wines that I was making. And I actually finished up a couple bo bottling up my mango tropical one that I ended up calling Some Beach Somewhere. I also bottled up my red wine that I did and the third one that I bottled was a strawberry kiwi, but I added uh, an acid blend to it. it. Made it really tart. And it's a strawberry tart wine. It's really good. I'm going to age them for about six months first. And... All right, whew, we're to the edge. Once we get here, I'm going to reach out and come straight up. Ooh, we got finds. And on our first find today, it looks like we got a spark plug and a nail. Like I say every video. Make sure you guys are checking these to make sure they are tight. If you don't have lock thread on there, thread tight. Mine was just loose. That was very dangerous. <laughs> so now I know that when I'm pulling this magnet back in, once I get it close to the shore, I need to reach out and actually pull it up. I can't let it get next to that metal or else I'm not getting that magnet back. And if I do get something pretty big and heavy, I could pull it right up on the side over here where the boat launch was. I think I got something on there. I still am yet to find a real gun. I found a cap gun, I believe it was episode 10 from the late 50s, I believe it was. And that was cool and I was excited, but man, nothing would beat finding an actual like gun. That'd be cool. I have something on. Oh. Getting close to the edge, so when it gets close to the edge, you pick it straight up. And on my next find, I've got another nail. So I found two lucky nails so far. Let's keep up the good luck. Today's video is brought to you by Brute Magnetics. If you have not, head over to www.brutemagnetics.com and go check out all their gear. They also offer a wide variety of different accessories to go with your magnet fishing stuff, as well as cones, t-shirts, hats, shirts, you name it, they've got it for sale. If you use the promo code SURFINGUSA10, you will receive a 10% discount from the Brew Magnetics website. Also, 10% of your purchase will be donated to the Surfing USA waterway cleanup that I have started here in Michigan. 
So if you want to do your part and help clean these rivers up and you want to go ahead and get into some magnet fishing, go to www.brewmagnetics.com. So I've been magnet fishing for almost eight months now. Seems like an eternity ago, I just was starting and it was still like early January, I believe, or late January. It was the January time frame when I was getting started. It was freezing when I first started magnet fishing. I kid you not, there was ice and snow and there was days I couldn't go magnet fish just because it was so cold and there was no place where I could, where I could put my magnet into the water. It was interesting. The coat that I'm wearing right now is part of my weatherproof stuff that I wore all last winter. I used to wear this with a sweatshirt underneath like I am now and it came with some trousers that kept me dry. Just found a piece of rebarb. A little bent up. I am finding a decent amount of things here. Where I used to magnet fish at over more towards the thumb area, I was having a hard time finding anything. I went to probably 25 bridges. I cleaned them out. I, I've been everywhere. So now I'm having to drive about an hour to get to where I want to magnet fish. I plan on heading down to Detroit soon, which is like a two and a half hour drive from where I'm at. Um, Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids. So if you're in any of those areas, go ahead and send me a message at the Michigan Magnetman at gmail.com or go ahead and send me a direct message over on Instagram and I'll respond as soon as I can. I'm trying to magnet fish everywhere with anyone that wants to go. So go ahead and send me a link. Oh, there's something heavy on there. Oh, I caught that cable again, but there's something else on here too. One sec. Let me see if I can reach around. I got it. And on that find, it looks like we have another piece of rebar. Now this water normally has a pretty strong current. The current's really not strong right now. I don't really feel it. There's so much clay down there though. Every time I pull my magnet up, I end up with a bunch of clay all over, so. There, the water's coming up from the river. This whole area is a construction zone, it says. I don't see any construction going on, so I uh, checked it out. Got two pieces. It kind of looks like this could have came off like an old bicycle, like a fender. I don't know. Scrap. I got something that's a little bit heavier than what I've been catching. Ooh, there's a couple things on here. It looks like we've got a washer to start. We've got a little P piece to a Allen key. Looks like we've got a nut with another piece of hex through it with part of a screwdriver on the other end. Um, we've got some fishing line with a hook and a sinker. And the best part of that whole thing was it looks like we have a 10 millimeter wrench. Just pulled up this big piece of metal. I also have another nail, which is like the fourth nail today, and our second spark plug. I don't know what it is about these spark plugs. I guess there's a lot of boats coming in and out. Maybe they fall off or get thrown off by the boats. So, that's a good day. Just drag this magnet all the way up around the edge here, all the way back over to where I have it tied up. I have been finding a decent amount of things today. My other areas are all dried up and I'm finding new spots. And luckily, magnet fishing in this area hasn't blown up too much yet. Where I'm living at in my hometown, I don't know if I had something to do with that, but there's people at all my spots now. <laughs> I think it's because of my videos, but that's okay. I like seeing people getting into the hobby and it gives me a chance to go out and explore a little bit and find some more spots. All right, let's check our drag. and See if we were able to get anything up. We have another nail. That makes like the fourth nail today. And I have another nail. A lot of the time, I don't know what's more fun, the actual magnet fishing or the video like filming and editing process. I'm really enjoying that. I'm getting better at it, I think. The drone that I bought, I bought a DJI Mavic Mini a couple, like about a month ago, I'd say. And that thing is a game changer. If you have been looking into getting a drone and you don't know if you should do it, go ahead and do it. It's worth it. It is a lot of fun. 
Okay, here's that spot where I kept feeling something. I'm gonna pull it in really slow and see if I can't just get that magnetic spot that feels magnetic to come. See, my rope's nice and tense. You can see the bubbles out of the water where my magnet's dragging. That's because there's a lot of clay in the, at the bottom there. On this throw, we have pulled up a crowbar and we've got a couple little nails on there as well. Just had two separate vehicles stop and question what I was doing. They were actually quite intrigued. It was funny, the one guy came, he started talking about all of his shows he likes watching on Discovery Channel that are very similar to the stuff that I like watching, especially on YouTube. And we like were talking probably for like 10 minutes and then up behind him, kind of like a drive through pulls up the next guy and he asks his questions and <laughs> It's cool to see people interested. I don't know. I guess when I first started, I was really intrigued as well. That pry bar, I could tell I had something on there all the way up though. And if that could make it through, everything else should be able to make it up. Now it feels like there's like an old plate or something right here. If I do have anything, it's not very big. Oh, and I do. And actually, I'm kind of really surprised to find what I have. We'll start off with a piece of wire but I have a railroad track spike there are no bridges or railroads or anything where I'm at I typically find these in Cass City over at the River Road Bridge but I've got one I also got another big nail and there's like four fishing hooks on here as well And there's a bald eagle flying by right now. I saw this guy the other day, too. What a sight. I've seen him a few times now. There are a lot of bald eagles here in Michigan. I've talked about that before, that there's a lot of nesting ones here. I don't know what it is about this spot. Like I said, it has to be all the boats. I just found my third spark plug of the day. And that time I pulled up this little cylinder piece of metal and another nail. So that boat just came through and now there are waves splashing in everywhere. They're coming up over here on the sides. It was real strong just a minute ago. Like this whole part is full of freaking water now. None of this water, at least not that much of that water was here. You see it's slowly starting to go back out and drain out down in here. And I just landed this giant piece of metal in the sinker, but on this piece of metal, if you look nice and close, we got a fella, some fellas living on it. It is starting to get a little chilly again. The sun went away. It was out for a little while, but no longer out. This is supposed to be real cloudy today. Fall's here. I don't think we're gonna have any more real nice days. I think the warm weather might be done for the year. I'm prepared for that though. On the 9th, I'm heading up to Lumberman's Monument up in Tawas, and Oscoda to do some filming there. It's one of my favorite spots. Uh, we used to go there every year growing up as a kid with my parents, so. Oh, what is that? <laughs> and on that find, it looks like Maybe some like rollers off a trailer for a boat or something. That is so cool. <laughs> Another spark plug. That is four spark plugs today. I never find any spark plugs. Now I got four and we got another nail and another piece of scrap. Okay, so you guys already know how this works. This is going to be my last throw of the day. If I catch something, I'll keep throwing until I don't catch anything. If I don't catch anything, that's going to be the rest of the episode. So let's see how that goes. Previously, in the last episode, I didn't catch anything on this throw and I got my magnet stuck. I've already got my magnet stuck today, so let's hope we have that out of the way. <laughs> Here we go. Lots and lots of spark plugs. I'm actually kind of surprised how many of those I found. People are just chucking them. I wish there was a dumpster here or a trash can. There's not, so I'm gonna load everything up in my car and take it back with me. 
Maybe go find the dumpster someplace. Now that the sun's out, it is actually quite beautiful outside. It warmed up really quick as soon as that sun broke through the cloud cover. And it looks like mostly blue skies heading out from the other side, so... Man, I might have came a little early, early today. Okay. And, ooh! On that throw, we got some fishing line and some sinkers. And we have a screw. There is no current today. That was one of the gentlemen that came up and was talking to me was saying that he's never seen it with this low of a current. Even the sign says no swimming because of the stiff current. It's a really rocky area right here, I believe. My magnet dips inside of it a lot and it feels like it's stuck on something, but I think the rope's just tied between two rocks or stuck between two rocks. And on that find, we've got a coat hanger as well as another piece of screwdriver that's bent. So I guess this is gonna be the third throw. It's not very often we get to a third throw on the final throw. Who knows, maybe we'll catch something real good. And on that find, we've got a little fishing hook. And that's all on that find. So that's the fourth find in a row. Let's move on to the fifth throw. And I finally don't have anything. So that's gonna be the end of the episode. If you like today's episode, go ahead and subscribe over on YouTube and go get me a follow over on Instagram. I post new videos to my YouTube channel every single Friday and I post new clips to my Instagram every single day. So go ahead and do that and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.